In a previous video, I covered the mechanics of mass bumping in teetering rotor helicopters. Mass bumping is where the blade spindle, through the action of excessive rotor flapping, comes into contact with the rotor mast. In that video, I talked about how, under normal flight conditions, the balance of forces between lift and centrifugal force has a strong stabilizing effect and constrains flapping such that mass bumping doesn't occur. But there are out-of-the-envelope flight conditions that can cause excessive flapping that leads to a mass bump. To understand these conditions, we first need to understand a concept called the pendulum effect. The center of gravity of a helicopter hangs below the rotor system, and when the pilot sends a swashplate command to tilt the rotor disc, the rotor would have a tendency to move independent of the fuselage. The fuselage would swing as a pendulum beneath the rotor disc, and this action would reduce the clearance from the spindle to the mast. I'll zoom in on this view of a cutaway rotor hub so you can see how this pendular action reduces spindle to mast clearance. While the pendulum action reduces clearance at the onset of maneuvering, gravity and aerodynamic forces generally bring the fuselage back in line with the rotor disc. For example, in turning flight, the gravity vector tilts due to centrifugal acceleration of the turn, and this constrains pendulum action to keep the fuselage properly aligned. So we rely on gravity to constrain the pendular action, but maneuvering, and this includes maneuvering caused by turbulence, can change the G-loading on the aircraft. If the G-loading gets low enough, the mass of the fuselage no longer has enough weight to keep it suspended under the rotor system. The result is that the rotor disc, under low G conditions, changes attitude, but the fuselage does not. And the mast is rigidly connected to the fuselage, so an excessive angle between the rotor disc and the fuselage will result in mass bumping. An aggravating factor that leads to the threat of low G mass bumping is the thrust generated by the tail rotor may cause a weightless fuselage to roll to the right while the rotor stays level. This low G right roll will decrease the clearance between the mast and the rotor disc. Maneuvers that contribute to mass bumping are low G maneuvers less than half a G, rapid large cyclic motion, especially forward cyclic, flight near center of gravity limits, and abrupt collective movement. Although there have been cases where mass bumping has happened and not resulted in loss of the aircraft, Mass bumping should always be considered a catastrophic event. Mass bumping can be avoided with proper training and adherence to aircraft limitations. Thanks for watching and please stay safe.